Wow, it has been so long since I posted on this channel. I am sorry guys, have no excuses. I want to be here. I hope that you guys want me here. There have been a lot of you subscribing lately and that just makes me so happy inside and does really inspire me to keep posting on YouTube. So here I am. I've decided to get back into the swing of things by doing Vlogmas this year at least 12 days of vlogmas the 12 days of christmas 12 days of vlogmas it's a super cute pun that i'm sure somebody else has thought of way before i did but 12 is much more achievable than 24 or 25 whatever it's literally half so we're gonna start with 12 days of vlogmas and see where i get after that welcome to day one of vlogmas i thought it would be super fun to start off this holiday month by looking through my tail collection. I have a super old tail collection that was two or three years old and most of those tails, except for the Fin Fun tails, are totally gone. And I sold a lot of tails and I'm a little bit sad about it. There are several tails. I sold the first tail that I ever bought. It was a Parrot Bay Whimsy tail for the Fantasy Fin one from Mer Taylor. I sold my first Mer Taylor tail and I regret that. A lot and I have a bunch of new tail and I think it would be really fun to kick off vlogmas by sharing them with you guys so let's get started oh look peep my fin fun tail in the corner but that's not where we're going right now into the closet I have my closet light is broken otherwise I would turn it on but I think we've got decent light from outside that's not a ghost I promise it's this beautiful white renaissance type dress that I got for the Ren Fair, but we're looking at my Mer Taylor tails right now. We're going to get them out so that I can show them better. don't have my big silicone Mako inspired tail that is gonna be its entire own vlog for vlogmas because there's a lot to talk about and unpack with that particular tail but uh, cannot wait to show you guys I love these tails I hope you guys enjoy seeing my new tail collection uh, let's take a look since it's right there and I can see it we're gonna start with thin folk my newest Fin folk. I've never actually worn it in the water because I don't have a monofin for this tail yet. I'm, it's gonna happen. I just, I don't have a monofin that fits my fin folk tails at the moment, but I have the sea glass grotto. I love it. One of my favorite tail designs. I'm wearing the matching leggings right now because that's how much I absolutely adore this tail and its color scheme. It's got beautiful blues and greens and purples. I did get it with the hip fins also. It is just perfect and I am so excited to actually get a mono fin that I can swim in this tail in or even just take pictures or film a video or anything I want to at all because it's the most beautiful tail I think I own except maybe that one or some of my custom retailers. They're all beautiful. How can you compare, really? They're all gorgeous pieces of art. The thing that attracts me most to Finfolk, I think, as a tail maker, is the art. They're just, it, they're artists. All of their tails look like pure art. This one, they actually haven't made in the new fabric yet, so this is an older, Generation Oracle. I don't think that they've remade the Oracle, have they? Oh, I bet it would be so pretty in the new fabrics. If they have remade it and you know that they have, let me know because I would love to see pictures of this tail in new fabric. I had it up for sale but decided I just couldn't get rid of it. It's got those blues again and a little bit of like, I'd call that more of an indigo than like purple, but oh, they're so pretty. No fins on this one, but still gorgeous. Still an absolute work of art. So that's the Sea Glass Grotto and the Oracle from Finfolk. 
two so far. I love this. I have no clue what to do with it, but look at this beautiful piece of art. Look at this tail, this fluke. This tail, I really wanna see in the new fabric. Like, look at that. Oh, beautiful, like, I don't wanna call it a kaleidoscope, but it's like an amazing rainbow, and then there's like, it's like a butterfly and like a flower, and oh, it's just so colorful. I've seen a few pictures on Instagram of this tail in the water, and it's gonna happen for me. Again, as soon as I get a monofin that fits these tails, I, I cannot wait, it's happening. I'm a huge fan, well, of the purples and blues and greens, but these bright colors, bright, summery, tropical, although this one's a little bit more like spring vibes for me. It's very, very summery and bright, but I'm bright all year round. I don't normally go for the pastels of spring, so. This feels like a springtime tail. Maybe we'll have, maybe we'll have that monofin around then and I can show you guys some more. I'm sorry for talking where you guys can't see my face, but the tails are what we're here to see anyways. So I hope that you guys enjoy that part at least. Mer Taylor time! I love Finfolk for the art. They are gorgeous. Oh, but... I just, the quality, I, I just, I don't want to say that I have a favorite tail maker because I always see these tails, it's like, I love from everyone, but there's a reason I have so many of these. Part of it is because they're a little bit easier to, but we're not going to go into that one right now. This beauty, this amazing, mermazing, this is the front. Look, I have been obsessed with this pink and blue color scheme ever since Barbie and the Island Princess came out when I was, I don't even know how old, but I watched it a lot. I asked my mom to make me a prom dress that looked like Rosella's, you know, beautiful little peacock blue and pink gown, and I thought that this tale kind of reminded me of that. So that is why I ended up with this gorgeous crystalline jellyfish, I think is what it's called. You can, I can't even do it justice on this screen and don't even get me started. I had all my like vlog camera setup going on, ready to film. And then I pressed record and realized there's this huge issue with my battery pack. So the first few who knows how many, hopefully not all, of these vlogs are gonna be on my phone. But I don't think so far that that's given it too horrible of a quality, but we'll see in post. Crystal and Jellyfish. Mer Taylor. It's another one that I haven't worn yet, but I have a trip to Florida planned for next year, and I'm thinking this is probably gonna be the Florida trip tail. She's gorgeous. I just, I want to swim in it. I want to swim in it so bad. Oh my. Florida trip is planned. This tail is coming. We'll see if any others do too. It is so much lighter. Just the fabric is so much lighter than that other one. The crystal and jellyfish was like heavy. This is like, oh, what? Is this even the same? I mean, it is obviously the same fabric, but way. This tail is way lighter. It's got fewer fins for one, but I think that for when I do Christmas mermaid videos, this is going to be my Christmas mermaid tail this year because it just, it feels very Christmassy. These little, I don't know what to call them. They, they look like holly to me. I just, this is a very beautiful tail. It was a custom design by Mermaid Zari. I do feel, she is a very, very talented artist. I am extremely happy with how this tail ultimately turned out. Also, one thing I didn't actually notice, and I can't believe I'm gonna point this out to you guys because I feel like it's gonna be all anybody sees whenever I wear this tail now, but that's okay. 
the these two are like right where my knees are so these weird scales they really accentuate my knees <laughs> I love this tail gold was the color that I asked for I wanted a green and kind of like gold but tealy blue type of tail hip fins she's got the hip fins expect to see a little bit more of her this Christmas season do you guys name your tails I called it a her and then just thought she doesn't have a name. These other ones have names. They're not custom tails though. We're gonna have to think on that. Got any name suggestions for this custom tail? Let me know in the comments. Jellyfish jungle. Ooh. Excess fins, excess flow, absolutely gorgeous. Oh. All of the Mert Taylor tails deserve that sound effect. So this is the jellyfish jungle. Just think that this is a really, really beautiful, soft kind of minty green almost. What color would you call this? Is it like a sea foam type color? It is beautiful. I might be wearing this one some too. Ocean's Daughter? I'm pretty sure that's what it is, Ocean's Daughter. Second custom from Mer Taylor. There's a stain on it. No, I've got to try to get that off. Look at this. So this was an H2O Mako Mermaids inspired tail that I added shades of like pink and lavender too. Custom Tail Mermaid Sephira, I think is how you pronounce it. But look, see you've got the pink highlighted scale tips there. And then on this side they're purple. And while it started out as like a Mako inspired design and it is still a tail that I will use for Mako pictures just like my silicone, I feel like a fire flower in this tail. I just, I feel like decorative fire so. This tail is called Fire Flower. Rainbow Dream, I think is what this one is. I took this one to a different lake than we went to with the Jellyfish Jungle. Another tail that holds a very special place in my heart just because I love the colors. I've made some good memories in this tail seen some awesome mermaids that I really really need to meet up with again um you know who you are I'm so sorry I haven't been able to meet up I've had a lot of stuff going on but we can talk but again you know who you are and I am so sorry that I have not been able to be present for meetups this year but thank you for reaching out every single time that you did because that you even wanted to include me actually meant a lot so I love you and thank you very much. This last one is my only tail skin right now for the Fantasy Fin 4. It's the Narwhal skin. I so want Color Me Porpoise, the purple, the purple dolphin skin that I guess Treasure Coat's Mermaid helped design because it just looks absolutely gorgeous. But you know, I also want the Everyday Mermaid tail too. They're like perfection I think the colors were amazing I love the little design on it no it's actually gorgeous and I am saving up all of my seashells for new tails here's the underside I actually do have a couple underwater swim videos from when I took this into a pool I think in February of this year and that was a very cold day so I guess the narwhal skin was appropriate unfortunately did not have a horn. I love these little flippers. Look at how cute they are. This is my only and will probably stay my only super dark colored mermaid tail skin. But Mer Taylor came out with a dolphin shaped fluke. And now for the fin fun tails, which are right behind me. You can't see them because I buried them in Taylor whimsy tips.
So I realized I actually ended up talking a lot right here and decided to just do a little bit of a montage for the Fin Fun Tales because there were a few of them and the video was getting a little long so I didn't think you wanted to hear me rambling about anything and everything I was thinking for like half an hour which this ended up being so enjoy the montage. The last tale of my fabric tale collection for me to show off. This ended up being a way longer first little, you know, vlog post for Vlogmas than I thought it was going to be. I definitely want to relax some now. I'm definitely going to get on with some of my mermaid cinematics because that stuff makes a great evening. I definitely also need to go check on my little puppy. But thank you guys so much for watching my first Vlogmas. I hope you catch the next 11 of them for my 12 days of Vlogmas, as well as how many others I managed to get out for Vlogmas this year. Here on this channel, we're attempting 12 days of Vlogmas. And I know that I'm probably not gonna be able to release every day, but we're gonna try as every day as possible up until we hit that 12. If we skip a day, I will be letting you know on Instagram. Find me at Title Magic on Instagram to keep up with me there. Hit that like and subscribe so that you can follow me through the rest of Vlogmas and so I know that you want to see more of my Vlogmas. Thank you so much once again for being here. I love you guys and I will see you later. These are gonna be so fun to put back up later.